Hello students, I welcome you for today's session. Well students, in today's session as you can see on the screen, we are going to be doing your uh, poem number 8 on killing a tree from your beehive book that is page number 110. So uh, I hope you all are ready and let's begin with the first paragraph. So students, as you can see in the first paragraph, uh, this poem is a, a poem about mother nature. In fact, it is focused upon a tree, uh, that uh, how the life of the tree is, how much time it takes to grow and uh, in how much time it actually gets killed. Okay, and uh, why people are trying to kill trees. So this is the prime focus of the poem. So let us begin with the first paragraph. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. So well, students, in the first paragraph, the poet uh, remarks about the whole process of growth of the tree okay and uh, how the tree's growth is very steady and in uh, so the poet also says that uh, with a single uh, jab of knife means with a single hit of knife the tree really cannot be killed why because it has grown taking lot of time it has consumed the earth that means it has taken the nutrients from earth the soil and uh, from there it has uh, risen above it has grown to that height okay above its crust and it has absorbed years of sunlight air and water so a tree grows into the full length it takes so many years some trees take about eight to ten years some take more than these this many years students so it takes a lot of time for a tree to grow and it cannot uh, be so that is why it can really not be cut over a night or just with a single uh, shot of knife you know and out of its leprous hide now leprous hide here it means that how the tree starts its growth leprous here means the bark of the tree now if you see the bark of the tree that is not so good looking in fact no one pays attention to it it has um, it is very crinkled I would say it is not even crinkled it has many folds of that tree bark the wood and out of it small uh, leaves are also seen to be sprouting so that is the reason why the tree is so uh, strong okay now going over to the next paragraph so hack and chop but this alone won't do it so hack and chop here means that yes uh, just by hacking means just by giving it a jerk or just by chopping it it will not um, do any much uh, pain to it it will not ca cause much harm to the tree why because the bleeding bark will heal so the bleeding bark here means well students now bleeding bark here this is a poetic device as you can see and the poetic device here it is metaphor okay now here it is both in fact i would say alliteration also and metaphor also alliteration because we have the same wow. sounds that is bleeding bark okay and why metaphor because uh, a bark cannot bleed a bark uh, yes we cannot see a bark bleeding bleeding as in the red color blood flowing out of it that is why it is a metaphor it means something opposite okay but here actually what it means is in this paragraph the bleeding bark means that if you try to cut one part of the tree chop just one branch of the tree okay so for time being we could see some kind of a liquid outflow it might get wet so that is called as the bleeding bark so they say it will uh, heal heal means it will grow back again and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs so that cut off or chopped off branch will again start growing from the ground and slowly after few days we will see some small green twigs green twigs twigs means again small part of the branches they will start growing up again miniature bows miniature bows means again small branches when 
which if unchecked will expand again to the former size so um, the writer says Geeth Patel is the writer so he says that yes after and if we ignore that uh, branch chopped out branch so gradually we'll see a small branch starts sprouting out and if we don't check it it will again grow over to the uh, former size as it was um, in the same size before and uh, we will not even come to know that that barking uh, that bleeding bark will again heal up okay so this is about the second paragraph now moving on to the third paragraph now students in the second paragraph again we have one more poetic device yes students now coming to the third paragraph you can see uh, yes now there's a poetic device before going to the third paragraph there's a poetic device uh, which i've described already that is two poetic devices alliteration and metaphor in the same line bleeding bark okay i hope you understood that now going over to the third paragraph no the root is to be pulled out now from your third paragraph starts with the procedure how the tree is killed actually now first what happens is the tree is the root is pulled out so the tree is actually pulled out completely from the ground out of the anchoring earth anchoring here means um, that the tree has still now taken the support of the earth and the earth is actually kind of an anchor means that is the base which holds the tree okay so it the first when the roots have to be pulled out then what happens it is to be roped tied it is yeah it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside earth so now in the third paragraph they are talking about step they this um, gif patel describes the steps how the tree has actually uh, is going to be killed so first it, the uh, roots are pulled out then a, a rope is tied and by the tied with the rope by pulling it from the rope the whole of the part of the tree is snapped out snap snapped out means to pull out something with a quick jerk okay achanak se kisi cheez ko kheech lena ukhad dena or pulled out entirely out from the earth's cave out from the earth cave cave why it is called earth is called as a cave because the root the roots of the trees have gone deep down in the earth and that forms the cave and the strength of the tree exposed now what is the strength over here the strength of the tree is actually the roots which have now got exposed to the sunlight to the air because till now they were hidden secretly in a protective way under the earth so the source white and wet why it is white it has become white because it has been taken out from the earth so it has now turned into white color yes so now it says um, yeah it is white it is wet because of the moisture of the earth the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth so what is uh, white and wet it is the roots and they are very sensitive because till now they were inside the earth now coming over to the last paragraph students then the matter of scorching and choking now now this is the last stage of when the tree finally dies scorching why scorching scorching means it is the roots and the whole of the tree is exposed to the sunlight uh, the i would say the sunlight which is very extreme so that is called scorching means to the extreme heat of the sunlight and choking choking here means it is without any source of water it is without any source of water in sun and air browning so what happens the next stage is it starts browning it becomes hard the bark and the whole of the tree twisting so the leaves which were fresh and uh, opened up very uh, you know open up very beautifully now they start twisting withering even they start drying in the hot sun and then it is done so the last line says and then it is done means so this is the stage when the tree finally dies okay 
so this is the uh, poem on killing a tree i hope you understood the poem students i'll be sending you your pdf file instructing you about the notes and i hope uh, you understood the poem if you have any doubt uh, then please send an email so that we can clarify your doubts and the last paragraph students we have one more um, poetic device if you can see the whole paragraph starts from then and it ends the full stop is in the end after done so this uh, kind of uh, poetic device is called enjambment enjambment means continuous sentences and um, when it does not end in just within one or two lines it ends after three to four lines okay so this is called enjambment uh now the details about your um poetic devices is also mentioned in your uh, bbc companion that i'm sure you all have on page number 346 and 347 so you can go through that also and in case still if it's not clear then please write to us so that it can be clarified uh in through your emails okay so that is end of the session today students so we will uh, i'll meet you in the next session with another poem till then all of you please timely complete your notes and uh, stay safe thank you